I look back over again because I just had to double check if it was something in the liquor or I'm really seeing what I'm seeing. I'm giving y'all the signal. A bitch is in distress. You give me a vibe and a feeling Like one I won't never see again This music, like I said, she won't hear it Like one I won't never see again Hello, my queens and kings. It's your girl Maroon Nikki back again, time and time again, with another video. Yeah. What up? What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Okay, okay, okay. We have a lot to talk about, all right? Because your girl has another story time. My Lord Royals, y'all already know what I need y'all to do. Go ahead and push the like button and make sure you share it with your friends, all right? But make sure you have everything in order because baby, you should not be pausing while I'm talking. Now, if you're new to my channel, you're just being introduced to all of this. Welcome, welcome. Go ahead and push the like button, push the subscribe button, and push the post notification bell so you can receive a notification of my post when I post, baby, baby, because I know the loyal Royals know everybody knows but you that I'm... You'll love it here. And if you don't know, now you know. Welcome. Hold on, because telling a story without Blistex is really crazy. But yeah, y'all, let me get you out of background and get you out of rundown so you can understand why I felt the way I felt in a moment. All right, so this situation took place when I was living in Virginia. If you're not familiar with my time down in VA, I'm gonna put my story time playlist up above. Make sure you get caught up so that you understand what's going on with the rest of the class, okay? Because it's a lot to unpack. For those that are caught up, y'all already know about my horrible time in VA. At the time, I went down there with no money, no plan, and I started working a job at the call center. So when I was working at the call center, every Everybody from that particular area worked there so it was like really easy to kind of make friends throughout the town because everybody lived in the town like if you live there you worked at that call center or you know somebody that worked at that call center when I was working at the call center or whatever it wasn't hard for me to make friends I'm an extrovert I definitely have no problem walking up to people and I'm going to converse okay I love talking to people I thrive off social interaction I'm always talking to somebody so I ended up becoming cool with this one girl and she had a birthday weekend plan and she wanted me to attend the way it was set up was that we was gonna go out to the club in DC on that Saturday and on Sunday she gonna have a birthday dinner and she would like me to attend both so I said cool when I had first got there like I didn't really go out that much everybody was always saying if you wanted to find a good place to go or chill you want to go to DC or go to Richmond because we were like dead in the middle of the two I went to Richmond Richmond was cool but I I, I fuck with DC like <laughs> I fuck with DC so when I found out we was going to DC I was like yes like of course I would attend she told me it was gonna be a club if we're being honest, I've never really been to a club before. At that moment, I wasn't really familiar with how to carry myself, like how to dress at the club or nothing like that because I don't club. And then she told me, I guess she had like a VIP or some type of section. I don't know what she had going on, y'all. I don't do clubs, okay? <laughs> she told me that she had all of those things in order. So, y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know what to wear. So I went on Pinterest. I was like, what the fuck do I wear at the club? Like, I didn't know what to do. So I had on this nice white dress and then I had on these heels and I did my hair up, did my makeup, da da da. And I was ready to pop out. So y'all already know I drove myself. I'm not about to ride with nobody else. Like, y'all know how I get down. I want to be able to get in and get out whenever I feel like without having to wait on nobody. And I'm not letting nobody drive me because you're not about to put my life at risk. I know how I get down behind the wheel. I don't know you like that. So I drove myself up there. I have my sandals, of course, because who's driving in heels? And then I found parking. Thank God. The club we went to was Ultra Bar. For the people that have been to DC, the people that are in DC, the people in the DMV area, all y'all, if you know where Ultra Bar is, you know what I'm talking about. So Ultra Bar is like this club that has like five levels, I believe, and on each level is like a different vibe. Like I said, I haven't been to no club. I'm wondering how this shit is gonna pan out. The curiosity has me excited, you know what I'm saying? I'm curious to see how this looks, how this is, what the club scene is like. And I know you're probably sitting there like, girl, you ain't missing nothing, but I had to figure it out for myself, all right? I get there and I find parking and I'm looking for them because I'm expecting them to be at the top of the line. I heard things like section, I heard things like VIP, I heard shit like that being tossed around comfortably and casually when we were talking. So I'm sitting there like, okay, they should be inside already or they should be outside at the top of the line waiting for me. So I had called them and I'm like, where y'all at? And they were like, oh, we all the way back here. And I said, all the way back where? <laughs> and they was like, all the way back here. So I was already tight. Irritated because I was like, not me having to walk all the way back there in these heels, like. And I know I probably should have brought, wore something more comfortable, bitch, but I was doing what I saw on Pinterest, so leave me the fuck alone. I'm click clacking my way all the way to the back, and I'm trying to figure out why are we back here. The word VIP and the word section and things like that, I thought that you 
get put to the front of the line. As I'm walking to come to them, I notice that everybody is wearing like more casual wear. Like nobody is as dressed up as I am right now. I'm clearly overdressed. I end up finding them, they waving me down. When I walk up to them, I realize that they are dressed the same way as the people in the line. So now I'm wondering if I'm missing something. That's just me, y'all. When somebody tells me it's their birthday, it's usually a lot of doing the most taking place. It's a lot of popping out. It's a lot of crowns on the head. It's a lot of full on beat glam, like, you know, but I have to remember that not everybody's as extra. So I have to understand that everybody treats their birthdays differently. So when I realized that everybody was wearing like, like a simple little maxi dress and they were wearing like sandals, like I was like, okay, I'm gonna go back to the car and I'm gonna switch. You know what I'm saying? So I walk back to the car and I switch into my sandals because clearly I'm doing too much. I get back with them and we end up getting to the front of the line. They were like, you could have came to the front. I don't, I don't know. I was like, okay. See, I thought, I thought I was bugging. We get into the club and it's jumping on every level. It's a lot going on. But what was really getting me was that it was a lot of sticky liquids on the floor. When I'm walking, my feet are sticking to the ground. Like it's resisting <laughs> to lift off the ground because it's stuck to whatever substances are on these levels, especially that one red level. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you've been there, that floor was so sticky and it just smells so hot and musty in that bit. I'm sitting here wondering when do the VIP perks kick in? Cause like we're amongst the general population and niggas is bumping into me. My sandal is fighting against my feet. It's not listening to my commands. All right, it's a lot going on. We just are going up and down on different floors. Like I, I honestly had no idea what was going on. I'm just going with the vibe. All I knew in that moment was I need a drink. The only way I could process this is under the influence. I gotta get some liquor and meat pronto. So I was like, oh, let's get something to drink, right? We go to the bar. I'm the type of girl where I drink straight. I take shots, I do water as a chaser. That's me, Ray and Neff and Patron. Especially when I wanna recover quickly the next day, rum, or tequila, that's my shit, that's my go-to, I'm not changing it. Cause I don't know, it's when I start drinking Henny, things get a little crazy. Anything becomes truly possible when I'm off the Henny, all right? I was definitely off Henny when I almost got in that fight at the strip club. Henny, I gotta leave it alone. When they were ordering shit, everybody was getting a mixed drink. So I was like, okay, let me just blend in and get a mixed drink. Y'all, I don't know why the fuck I was trying to blend in with them like that because I've never been that type of person. I really moved to the beat of my own motherfucking drum. Like, I do me at all times. You gotta follow my lead. And because it's so difficult for me to like maintain female friendships, like I really just don't want any issues. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't want to ruin her birthday at all. I didn't want to overdo it on her birthday. I didn't want to steal no shine or nothing like that on her birthday. Like I was truly dimming any light that I had and I'm so disappointed in myself for doing that, but I was truly dimming any light that I had because I just didn't want no problems. Like I've been in the drama before. I've dealt with the cattiness. Like that's just, y'all, I be trying to tell y'all, I don't really like drama like that. It be coming to my doorstep. And sometimes I'm not strong enough and I let that bitch in. I'm still grown. But I saw that they were drinking like tequila sunrises and shit. Yo, I don't know nothing about missed drinks. All I know is a blue motorcycle. So they were drinking tequila sunrises. Once I heard tequila, I said, give me that. Because I know that once I drink the tequila, I could be up till three in the morning. I'm gonna wake up at 7 a.m. Give me that tequila sunrise. That had to be the latest time I ever drank orange juice. I don't drink orange juice. That's never been nothing that I like. I'm an apple juice girl through and through. I don't like orange juice like that. But y'all, I was just drinking whatever because I don't know many mixed drinks. So I said, okay, y'all clearly doing something and drinking something I never had. Let me try that shit too. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, the tequila sunrise was good. It was so good that I ended up ordering like two, three, four of them bitches. Now, I didn't understand the power of a mixed drink like that, right? So when I ordered the mixed drink, I'm thinking it tastes like juice. It's going down real easy. I'm knocking them bitches back. Boom, 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 boom. Yo, all I knew was that shit came in full effect and just straight punched the shit out of me. I just started feeling like real nice, feeling real good. I'm leaning a little bit, but I'm not all the way bent. I'm sitting here like, okay, hold on. This shit taking me for a ride. At this time when we was at the bar, we were at the top floor, right? So they was playing all the trap shit, all that shooter shit, all that, yeah, good, uh, 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 everybody jumping up and down, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that's cool. Now, I'm the type of person, whenever I go to any party, anywhere, in any gathering, I will stay completely still because I do not know how to act like a lady when them type of songs come on. All that hood shit be coming on and I just turn into a hood nigga. I don't know what's wrong. I'm acting out of control. I'm throwing my body all around. You would think that 
I'm really like that. <laughs> like, the Lulu. Sick in the head. Like, I, I don't know. If the music be doing something to me. It be doing something. Be having me lit as a bitch. Like, what's up? Like, I cannot relate to anything they're talking about. It be doing something to me, y'all. I had to keep it cute because, you know, I'm in a dress. <laughs> I had to keep it cute because I'm in a dress. Like, so calm your fucking happy ass down. Like, bitch, you wanna be a hood nigga so bad. I'm rocking back and forth off the LQ, right? I'm trying to keep it cute, trying to keep it cate, you know? I'm trying not to go crazy. I'm just rocking like this, okay? After that, all I heard was just straight dance hall. And baby, it was a vibe, okay? I can keep it real cute and keep it real stiff and mannequin style when it comes to that, that trap music and all that shit. But once dance hall comes on, I don't know how to act, baby. I have to put on every single time. I make it my duty. Like, so when the dance hall came on, I took my ass right up in the middle of the dance floor because I feel like everybody need to step the fuck back because I'm really about to fuck it up and I really need y'all to move. All right, because the waistline needs space. I'm in the middle, and bitch, I get the, bitch, hold on, let me show y'all. So I'm in the middle, I get the whining, I get the going crazy, I'm going crazy, all right. The way I was facing, I was staring at the girls, and they were like up against the wall a little bit. They wasn't trying to get in the middle of this. I was just doing my thing, bitch. I thought I was in a music video. I felt the spotlight come down on me. I was the star of the show, okay? So I'm out here winding up, some light. I'm out here feeling it. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? So then all I hear in the background is No, you make me holler, no, you make me sweat. I can't get your tenderness. So now I'm like, oh shit. Right? So now I'm getting, I'm really getting into it. So I hear the I'm still in love. Okay, and I'm winding up. And I feel a man come up from behind me. I felt like I was in a scene, okay? Cause in front of me, the girls are like, oh yeah, all right. I'm drunk, I'm looking at them, and I'm giving it. I'm giving it to him, okay? I know he can keep up, so I kick it up a little bit to level two, you know what I'm saying? Now this is the first time I've ever danced on a guy in the DMV that can keep up with me. I kick it up to level three, he keeping up. Okay, I'm like, ooh, who the fuck is so I'm looking at my friends, and I'm not looking at them, they just like, yeah, girl, fuck it up. So I'm like, okay. Girl, I'm dipping it. My my spine is, is hitting one of these. I'm dipping it like that, but I'm still looking at them because you know I gotta show them how it gets down, right? I feel like I'm in a music video. He touching on my back. I'm like, this nigga touch on my back. He really doing it for me. Waistline intact. We dancing, y'all. I'm telling y'all, we are dancing. So when we going, you know, we going like this and going like this, we rocking from side to side. I decide that I wanna turn back and see who the hell this wonderful man is with this wonderful waistline, right? So I gotta get a little quick peek, cause you know, they amping me up, but I gotta see who's behind me. So I started hitting it like this, and I start turning around. Y'all, as soon as I turned around, I turned back around instantly. All I can say is this, that was the first jump scare I ever experienced in my entire life in real time. I like my men medium ugly. I like my men's like I like my meat, okay? Medium especially when it comes to the ugly, okay? What I witnessed behind me was well done. That shit scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That shit scared the fuck out of me. So now I'm low key like, and I'm looking at the girls I came with and I'm like, okay, um, help me, <laughs> help me. And they're like, yeah, girl, keep going. I said, I'm giving y'all the signal. A bitch is in distress. I look back over again because I just had to double check if it was something in the liquor or I'm really seeing what I'm seeing. I look back again just to double check and bitch, I got more scared the second time around because all I see is him and he look like he's either salivating or he's about to nut. Like, I don't know what's going on. I cannot make this up. The nigga was hitting the face. Boy, y'all sit there and be like, oh, that's me. Let me just be real with y'all. You're not going to look good to everybody, okay? Somebody thinks I'm hitting the face, all right? And I think he's hitting the face, okay? And that's just how it's gonna be. And I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm not gonna sit here and tell y'all no lie. Glaucoma running my family, so blindness is on the way. I'm not about to waste my good years laying my eyes on niggas that look like that, okay? No. So I'm trying to come up off him, because now I'm like, oh, y'all not about to come through and, and come help. And a lot of the things that was going through my mind was, y'all was really amping me up and gassing me up and telling me that I'm fucking it up on somebody that looked fucked up. The man had no lineup, okay? Teeth looked mud. He was like, 
Yes, bitch, like a wild rodent. I was terrified. I'm trying to get up off of him, y'all. I'm At this point, I start whining forward. This nigga decides he wants to grab me by the back of my dress and just pull me in like this. I said, oh, nah. Y'all, I'm still leaning. So I'm like, okay, I'm trying to wind forward and I'm looking at them like, um, help me, help me. And I start winding forward again. He grabs me by my dress and pulls me back like that. I said, oh, nah. So now I'm trying to come up off him. I'm trying to dance forward. And he grabs me by the back of my dress, grabs my thong through the dress, twists the thong and the dress, and then pulls it like this and pulls my body into him like that. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. All he got in that moment was a trauma response. I turned around and started pushing him, like, told him to get the fuck up off of me. I started blacking because it was like, now you're doing too much. Now you're hurting me. Now you're grabbing me up. Now I can't break free of you. Like now I'm about to punch you in your face. And for real, for real, if I wasn't drunk and I would have felt that whole entire coochie burn pull that he gave me, cause y'all, the thong went into my lips and said, Zip. like, it was, yo. So I push him off. I'm like, yo, get the fuck up off me. Get off me, get off me, get off me, right? So he's like, stop. stop. Yo, like a rat. I'm sitting here thinking I'm finding love in the club. I'm not finding love in the club. I'm finding nightmares on the top floor. Like, I ended up breaking free of him and I went over to them. They were just like, oh my God, what happened? What's wrong? What's wrong? I was like, y'all wasn't gonna tell me that he was ugly? They're like, what you mean? What you mean? Bitch, you know what the fuck I meant. You knew he looked crazy as hell in the face. When his face was tensed up and when it was calm, he looked hit, bro. Like, why would you have me dancing on that ugly ass nigga? Like, that shit had me pissed. Oh, I thought you, thought what? I'm not gonna lie to y'all. The type of people that I'm used to hanging around, they gonna intervene. They gonna be like, uh-uh, excuse me, excuse me. No, no, like, what? No. And they'll get behind me and start dancing with me. And I do that for them. So I was used to that. I'm used to them putting me on, let me know, like, that's not your type. Like, that's not somebody that's cute. Like, move him out the way. But you know what? I can't blame her because, to be honest with you, she don't know no better. And I can't expect her to know better. The type of people I frequently hang around have a fucking clue. The type of people I hang around have common sense that when I'm busting my eyes, when you see all of the white meat on my eyeballs, that means that you need to pay attention, okay? <laughs> to them, they were just in la la land and I have to remember that all of us were drunk. They probably weren't picking up on the cues. I know I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. That's the only way I can look past this shit without getting tight about it right now and wanting to slap the shit out of them right now. <laughs> like, my coochie was sore the next day because the way he gripped it and pulled on me, he wasn't letting me go. Like he had me locked in place by my draws. <laughs> like, legit by my drawers. After that shit happened, I left. And this is exactly why I take my car. Because I got in my car right after and I headed out. Like I was like, you enjoy the rest of your birthday, I'm about to head out. Cause like that shit rubbed me so wrong. And I went home. I know you probably like, but how you was driving? Bitch, that shit sobered me the hell up. It sobered me up so quick, I promise you that. It sobered me up too quick. All right, it was like, I didn't even have them sunrises, yo. That shit hit sundown quick as fuck. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. The next day I woke up, Coochie sore as hell. And I had to just come to the realization that people are gonna be them. Not everybody's built like you, not everybody thinks like you, not everybody springs into action like you, you know what I'm saying? So I had to just leave it like that and take it for what it was. I ended up going to the dinner the next night because I am a woman of my word. If I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. So I ended up showing up, but after that, I ain't hang with them no more. No, I didn't hang with them no more. That shit had me pissed off. Sober me would've probably swung on that nigga, like just out of reflex, like, I would have probably swung on him and it would have been a big situation, a bigger situation in the club because I definitely would have probably started fighting him. And I'm not the type of person that would want to do that, but that type of shit right there is triggering. Like you're kind of holding me against my will so I can continue to grind on you. Like that's really crazy. Like, yeah, we was whining and we was getting into it, but me not being able to walk away because you're not done with me is crazy. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. That right there was what triggered me to want to start wilding out in the middle of that club. So I removed myself from the situation completely. I ain't with them girls no more. Like that shit was kind of wild. Like I thought I found love in the club. I found destruction, disappointment, and all types of demonical forces <laughs> in the club. For you to be on some shit like that, you salivating of the mouth, it's, it's really giving desperation and lack of pussy. Like why are you foaming of the mouth damn near and salivating like you have rabies? Like I, that's really crazy over a spine? I don't even got no ass. The spine got you salivating and foaming of the mouth like that? Or is it drugs?
I'm not about to figure that out. Anyway, y'all, that's the end of my story time. <laughs> so yeah, y'all, if you found this story time enjoyable, go ahead and make sure you like this video. Make sure you share it with your friends and put a comment down below. Tell me exactly your thoughts on this. Also, y'all, don't forget to follow me on my socials. You know where you can reach me on IG. My queens and kings, you know what I want you to do. And that's what? Stay blessed and stay royal. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.